Another video found in the paranormal ghost section. Becca has posted it and wasn't quite sure what she had seen that night. She states, Did I capture a black shadow in my house? Didn't see anything weird in any other part of the video. It was taken in the late evening, around 9pm. I'm pretty sure nobody else was there. It's just me, my aunt and uncle who live here and they were both out that night. I remember because they went over to my cousin's place, but I didn't want to go because I wanted to stay and play with my new puppy. I didn't check the house at the time because I didn't notice the figure until I was showing a friend the video of my dog today. I took the video about three weeks ago. I don't know if it's paranormal, but it freaks me out. We've never had any other weird experiences in this house. Good puppy. Good boy, go get your toy. What exactly is going on here in the background, guys? There clearly seems to be a figure walking by. And it appears to be some kind of black cloth. Was it a shadow person? Or just somebody of her family? People on Reddit are not sure, and there were many theories about what was captured that night. Oh, get it. Oh, good puppy. Good boy, go get your toy. And now I want to wish a happy 7th anniversary to our today's video sponsor, Vikings War of Clans. I was invited to try out their free game and I must admit I'm very intrigued. Vikings War of Clans offers you a phenomenal mobile multiplayer real-time strategy experience with more than 20 million players. Myself, I am very impressed by the clean and helpful UI design the game is offering, helping me to navigate through all the different menus, making it easy for me to learn about the quest system, how to build buildings, and of course how to expand my army. And leveling up your hero lets you claim some awesome rewards. For the 7th anniversary, the game is getting a huge update this month, including Jotunheim, a world of giants and eternal ice. Check out this legendary competition featuring 3 birthday monster events, blitz competitions every 2 days and boosts for new players up to 20% each week. So guys, don't miss out. Help support my channel by downloading Vikings for free only from my links in the description box and become a hero of exciting events in the world of Vikings. And don't forget to look me up under my nickname King Frostmere. I see you in the game fellow Vikings. The next video comes from the channel Jimmy B Trail Camps. This channel is not paranormal in nature at all. Actually, Jimmy is located in Washington and owns multiple trail cameras that he places all over the forest to capture wildlife. He's posted multiple videos of various animals such as deer, owls, cougars, coyotes and many birds. However, a few months ago, Jimmy captured something on one of his cameras that he could not identify as one of the usual forest animals. Let's see what he caught. You can see the trail cam is aimed at a small patch of forest. Behind the trees, a creature suddenly appears in the frame. It's walking on two feet like a human, but it seems much larger and even looks like it might be covered in fur. This is definitely not a deer or cougar. Jimmy believes this could be a video of the elusive Bigfoot, a humanoid, ape-like creature that is said to live in the forests of North America. The creature makes its way through the trees and disappears out of frame. Jimmy also mentioned that after this video was taken, four of his cameras went missing. Is it possible whatever Jimmy captured in this video doesn't want to be recorded? What do you think? Wahid has shared the next unsettling clip. A mother was playing with her newborn that evening and recording it for her profile. At the time, nothing unusual was noticed. However, once the woman had rewatched the recording a few moments later, she realized that there was something else on the video.
A shadow that was not accounted for seems to be breezing through the image. Some people think it was maybe just a shadow caused by a nearby window. But the woman states that there was no window behind her. And of course, nobody else in the home was the reason for this sighting. So, what do you think happened here? video is a really interesting one and was posted by a user called Mel Murder. Mel likes to go for walks in the afternoon and she tends to ramble about different things in her life that she boggles her mind over. Located in Sweden, there are many forests and fields close to where she lives. So what better place to go for a mind-clearing walk? Last week, Mel was filming her thoughts whilst making it through one of the little forests. The sun had already set and she was going on about an appointment she just had with her psychologist. And it was on that walk that she captured something really strange that she couldn't explain. The funny thing is, a viewer pointed it out. She had no idea that she might not have been alone at the time. She is not a believer in the paranormal and considers herself a skeptic at best. But she also states that in this particular area, there shouldn't be too much wildlife. To give you all an idea, Mel walks the same path on one of the following days to show people the area by day. I'm gonna go up to a tree. This part becomes very slippery and muddy during evening time. Well, this is still kind of dry. So there is the tree. And, or was it that tree? I think it was this tree. And whatever you saw was down there. Um, there's a big rock here, so it's not really easy to hide. And it's not very, it's not very big, even if it was this tree. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not a big big forest. There's no wildlife here. So it could just have been a person messing around or whatever. Now let's see what actually transpired that night. Did you notice anything? Look again. Something was standing behind the tree, was peeking at Mel here. It's really unclear at what exactly we are looking at here. Some people believe it to be an alien, others say it might be a paranormal encounter with an apparition from another plane. Of course it also could have been a person in the end. But I feel that her recording and explanation about this incident feel pretty real to me. Do you think it was just an animal? What about the glowing eyes on the ground that also seem to be looking in Mel's direction while she's walking by the tree? This could be an animal in my opinion. I'm really confused. Maybe this thing is related to the tall entity behind the tree? I'm sure this was a baffling encounter for everybody. And who can say for sure what happened that night? This will remain a mystery. Sheila has sent me the following video, and it was apparently captured in the hallway of a factory. This building is said to be very old, and the only purpose of this camera is the video surveillance, since people tried to break into this place several times in the past. This night, the CCTV camera has captured something quite eerie in the basement of this building. After closing hours, let's take a look. There certainly appears to be an apparition walking around down there. 
seemingly peeking at the camera and then returning towards where it came from. But what was it? Was it maybe a spirit or somebody that was still at the premises? Pretty unlikely though. What's your explanation? Thanks for watching guys. The following was sent by viewer Danny Cortez and it has been recorded within the four walls of his own home while he was filming his two dogs playing with each other. His message reads as follows. Hello, my name is Danny and one night I was just filming my dogs playing around. Nothing unusual really, but I think I captured something in the doorway. Look towards the end of the video. Let's do just that. I'm sure we all can see the strange shadow that is just standing there in the doorway and then moving to the right. But what could it have been? It looks semi-transparent, so probably not another member of Danny's household. If it wasn't just a skit, it might actually have been a shadow figure. The next video comes to us from Reddit and was uploaded by user Mr. Paranormal Guy. He says that this footage was taken from a security camera during the renovation of their home. The uploader also states that there was nobody home during this time and no children would even have access to the home. When they saw this footage for the first time, they were at a total loss. From the doorway, a strangely shaped creature is seen walking in. Its proportions are odd. It is small like a child, but with very long limbs and extremely skinny body. It actually looks quite alien. The entity takes a few steps before it seems it moves so fast the camera isn't even able to pick it up. The ladder moves entirely on its own from the room. And the creature makes his way out of the building as quickly as he came in. This video is definitely creepy and it's hard to speculate what was captured here. Was this an extraterrestrial, a spirit, a human child? I would love to hear your theories. Is this video real or a hoax? following was an investigation conducted by the team OZ Seekers, whose fully trips you can check out on their YouTube channel. Today they were venturing to the infamous Werribee Mansion, located in the Greater Melbourne area and built in the 1800s. It's said to be a very haunted location in particular, and our two investigators captured something on film that they didn't notice at the time and they haven't even pointed it out after uploading their video, which is why I think it could be a legit capture. Let's take a look at their investigation. The building itself actually proves to be pretty big, with several bathrooms and even a library.
After they exit the dining area, there is a weird noise that can be heard, and it reminds me of a bird of some sorts. But there apparently were no windows open, and it sounds oddly close. Maybe a cell phone noise. Well, let's just assume it was birds, and nothing crazy. After investigating the bedroom area, they make it downstairs again, and this is when they caught someone standing in the hallway to the left, although nobody else was there. Did you notice it? Let's take another look at that. It looks like a man in a priest's robe that is looking at our investigators, and I feel it's almost as if the cameraman notices that something is off, but unfortunately decides to not further investigate that corner. What do you guys think? What or who could they capture here? Is it something paranormal or something explainable? The following video was captured by a CCTV camera that was overseeing a stretch of beach. The original source is unknown, however, the video resurfaced on a paranormal TikTok channel. The story goes that the two young men in the video were on their way to a friend that particular night, when all of a sudden, they noticed a loud noise and saw something hovering over them. A second later, one of the two men mysteriously vanished. As we see, one of the two men is indeed simply disappearing into thin air and the other one is making a run for it. It is also unknown if the man disappearing could be found after this incident or what exactly had happened to him. It surely doesn't look like a glitch or a light reflection. The man is definitely gone. Yet we have to ask ourselves, was this a mysterious incident or did somebody tamper with the footage? Some do believe this was the doing of a UFO. Could this be so? This video comes from Adrian Gomez, who does not usually post paranormal content, rather his channel features mostly nail art and some personal videos. However, this video he posted in 2020 is definitely creepy. Adrian captured this footage in his office from his new home. As you can see in the video, he hasn't even finished unpacking yet. Adrian hears some strange sounds coming from his new office and decides to film a bit and see if the camera will pick anything up to explain what he is hearing. Let's watch what he caught. Que se ve. Ay, no a small child can be seen peeking out from behind the wall, only briefly, and seems to disappear as soon as she realizes Adrian is there. This is no ordinary child, however. Her skin appears pale and grey, and her eyes shine in an inhumane way when she faces the camera. Adrian is sure that this is the spirit of a child, as no one was home at the time other than him and there was no way for anyone to get in without him noticing. Ghost sightings of children can often be unnerving, as malicious spirits have often been known to take on the appearance of a young kid to appear less threatening. What do you think happened here? A negative energy? Maybe it was just a friend after all. Really hard to say.
This clip was captured by a night guard who heard inexplicable noises in the middle of his shift. Of course, he grabbed his cell phone and went investigating. Could he capture something mysterious? A man was patrolling a school and he was sure that no soul was around. But suddenly he noticed the voice of a child. He kept recording for a little bit, but couldn't find anything unusual. It was later, when he checked out the recording with another colleague, and they realized there might have been something else in this school. Was it the spirit of a child that is haunting this building? I think we will not be able to say. Russian investigator Doug Mystic is traveling to an old abandoned village tonight to conduct a paranormal investigation in one of the old Uralic buildings. He's giving a quick tour through the house first which still has tons of items scattered around from the former owners. It feels as if they might have left in a hurry. He places his cameras in different rooms to hopefully capture some activity today. And after contacting the spirit world and asking a couple of questions, he states that he feels a little bit strange. He doesn't receive answers at first, but after talking for a while, one of the cameras seems to capture something quite unusual in the back of the house. Only for a split second, it seems like a shadow is visible, possibly leaning through the wall and looking at the man. He states that a family lived in here a long time ago. Could it be that this is one of the spirits? fishing trip, for most people, is something joyful and relaxing, an escape from the busy everyday life that many of us live. Catch a mall fishing was on one of these trips. He goes to the most amazing places on earth and catches different fish, and his experiences are shared with his viewers. This night, though, he ventured into what he explains as an abandoned underground city. And while exploring the area, he has a strong feeling that someone or something was following him. Let's take a look. So, before I get too deep in here, I just want to let you all know, I'm looking for snakes right now, for pythons. And honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. Hello? God, there's 
so much going on. Hello? Turns out that this area was infested with snakes and he had a short run-in with one when arriving at the scene. After a couple of minutes, he thinks to hear strange noises from the distance and he seems to get nervous a little. I'm not sure how much I can show. I probably can't show too much. Hello? Snakes could be anywhere. Snakes come in here. There's probably another opening out there. With that laying up on the wall. Then these inexplicable noises get louder. Dude. Bro, I'm not bro. It's not worth it. This is spooky right now. What? Hello? Oh my god. Well, maybe there was a group of people performing a ceremony of some sorts. It sounds as if they are singing, or praying for that matter. How creepy indeed. What would you do? Making your way out of there? Understandable. You could. I guess it could be someone. Dude. Moments before he decided to leave the perimeter, he takes one last pen around towards the wall where he thinks some noises have originated from. And then captures this. A pale figure in a uniform is standing in the doorway, with its arms down and staring at him. It almost appears to be wearing some kind of police uniform or train conductor clothing. So, what could he capture here? Truly a terrifying image. Was it just a person that was part of a ritual? Or did something paranormal take place here? Whatever it was, you should really check out his channel. He has a lot of interesting adventures.